This is my first lecture, so I will be a little bit nervous. I, I ask you to be patient with me, uh, and, I, and I'm a learner as well. So, so I just be patient and let's learn together. Yeah. So I will be talking about the fundamentals of spiritist education for ch children and youth. Um, and before we start into just uh, look at the fundamentals. Uh, we will look at the spiritism as education. So, uh, the essence of spiritism is education. Yeah? The triple aspect of this, uh, the scientific, philosophical and religion. The religion will say when we, because it explains the Jesus teaching in a very uh, open way. So, uh, it aims to promote the evolution of humanity, and evolution is an educational process. This is also what we've been discussing here today. It's all been complementing what we have seen today. So, education of the spirit is at the heart of the spiritist proposal. Uh, if spiritism is a cultural synthesis encompassing all areas of knowledge, its unifying point is precisely educational. Kardec was an educator and influenced by Pestalozzi, one of the greatest educators of the all time. And the pedagogue of humanity, the Christ, has brought us the eternal principle of education through love. So with Jesus, we had the example of uh, he brought us um, the pedagogy of the example. So he, uh, the way he, he teach was uh, using simple language and uh, trying to explain the people in that time on the <coughs> level of evolution they were. So in a way, very simple, what all could understand. Even the educators and the simple, the humble, was able to <coughs> understand what he was trying to, to tell them. So this is, we'll see that the spiritist is all about this. So the spiritist teaches nothing contrary to Jesus' teaching. Rather, it explains his teaching by making explicit what was taught in allegorical or symbolic terms. These straightforward teachings demystify and clarify important <coughs> concepts, making them much easier to grasp. Jesus sent us the spirits, the work of all those spirits, <coughs> and, yeah, and the, all the, the spirits, the medium, uh, we, we saw the Chico and all of them who uh, wrote everything to us. So to help us prepare ourselves to be part of the world of regeneration. So this was the, the gospel according to spirituals. And this, is, is, this book is for youth adults. So uh, the language is most, it's more easier to understand. And this is one of the books you use to work with the youth as well. Because if you get the, the normal one, it will be difficult for them to understand. So this is another thing we, when we are teaching, then we need to think about the language and how we will pass this to them. So let's see, the spiritist universe is educational. Spiritism is compared with images of the educational universe. The development of the spirit through, through successive lives is comparable to the traditional educational system. So we are here to, to involve, and every uh, incarnation is one year that we are learning to improve. So Earth is treated as a school in which souls enroll to their improvement. And the spirit is reincarnating families to contribute to each other's progress. And the parents have a mission to develop values in their children's education. So then we see that um, the main responsibles for the education of the spirits, the base, 
is different. And then we'll see here why it's so important to start this, uh, to prepare our, uh, our children when they are children, yeah? Like the spirits, to prepare the spirits. So um, then Kardec, he asked, what is the point of a spirit experiencing childhood? And the answer was, the purpose of the incarnation is the improvement of the spirit and childhood makes a spirit more open to the impressions it receives. This may contribute to its advancement toward which all those responsible for the child's education and training must contribute. And then we like this is the most important phase in life we know with the childhood and the youth. So this is when the spirits, our, our children, they are spirits. They are old souls that has all ne, the, the previous uh, lives they, they had, they have, then we are all here to learn. So this is the phase when we will understand and help these spirits to learn new things and to just um, renovation the patterns of the memories of them and modifi modify the thoughts, emotions, and feelings of the spirit. Building new memories with new experiences that argue with those he already has. And uh, like when we say that we, the family is the, is the medium for the spirit to progress. So this is the time that we can help these spirits to start uh, his own improvement. And then when you, say you, you look for the, the young, from the perspective of the spiritual doctrine, we must understand that in youth, the individual is no longer a child, but is not yet an adult. He is uh, in another phase of his development, a difficult phase marked by biological, psychological, social change and needs guidance and support more than ever so that he can well with himself, his neighbors and God. So this is uh, when the spirit must more needs uh, support. So if you can think this way. Uh, and then we see here that to be a spirit therefore in the full sense of the word is to engage in a process of self-education, the end of which we can scarcely see, and being the process of self-improvement, as we have seen, is the basic requirement of the educator. And then, who is the educator? It's like we were saying before, first of all, the family. And then, we have when I, I say spiritist, it's, it's the individual itself, everyone who's in this earth aims to improve himself. So this is what is being said here before. We should uh, educate ourselves and be kind to help others as well. So this is, I think, the, the, when we think about educating a, a child or a youth, uh, we need to think that we are the first to be the role model. And then, of course, we have in the Spiritist Centers, we have the Spiritist Education, the Spiritist Educators, but this is all something that is done, uh, is linked to the family as well, and to, is the responsibility of everyone. This is everyone's responsibility. And then to, to finalize, so the fundamentals of spiritism, uh, spiritist education for children and youth is to offer children and youth the opportunity to perceive themselves as an integrated, critical, conscious, participative man, heir of himself, sense of the universe, agent of transformation of his environment toward all the perfection of which they are susceptible. Susceptible. So this is a, the aim of 
uh, the spirit is the location for children and youth. And the main element of this is the pedagogy of example. Uh, this is my, my son and me, and we are performing um, a role, uh, incarnation, a role about incarnation in the spiritist, in the fraternity. So the, the example can build everything. Words can just be said. So this is all I have to say.